YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. So, 20 hours ago yesterday, Mike Florio uh, put out an article um, uh, and basically said that he predicts that Tom Brady will be starting for the 49ers week one um, next season. Um, he basically said, you know, I got a great email. I don't know that the person wants his name to be shared, but it's explaining what's going on with Tom Brady. He then went on to say that it's basically a classic midlife crisis. He got a divorce from the Patriots, or from the Patriots. Step two was that he got a short-term relationship with a trophy girl, the Buccaneers, and he's basically saying step three, a late night text to the high school sweetheart, aka the 49ers. Um, he believes it's unavoidable. Um, you know, he believes that Tom Brady is going to do all this work behind the scenes to to get to the 49ers, and um, he's obviously rooting for it too, which could be a little biased in there. Um, just because you're rooting for it doesn't necessarily mean that um, you think he's going to be the starter. But Mike Florio seems to think that he will be starting for the 49ers week one. And obviously we're moving on from Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, there's absolute, at this point, there's absolutely no shot that Jimmy G stays in San Francisco. Um, <clears throat> The other thing is, is the 49ers didn't trade three, basically two first round picks uh, to move up in the 2020 NFL draft to to get Trey Lance. Uh, they didn't do that for nothing, obviously. Um, but could they postpone t Trey Lance's debut, or not debut, but could they postpone his debut as the starting quarterback, you know, full time to acquire or not necessarily acquire, but to pick up a 44-year-old Tom Brady. Um, I don't know. I mean, for Tom Brady, I'm sure that would be like the perfect ending for him. He grew up a 49ers fan. I told you guys that, um, you know, in, in one of my last videos. But, you know, here's the thing. Yes, if Tom Brady comes to the 49ers, are we going to win the Super Bowl? Probably. I, I would almost go ahead. I would almost say that there is probably a 70%, 80% chance that the 49ers are Super Bowl champions next season, maybe even a 90% chance. Um, but, look, Brady's retired, right? We get that. Um, he did say, you know, never say never. You know, a lot of players do that. You know, Richie Incognito is an example. He retired, came back, played for, you know, um, I, I believe he's still playing. Retired a couple of years ago, decided to come back. Um, happened with Eric Weddle in the Rams. He retired a couple of years ago, maybe last year or after last season, decided to come back for their Super Bowl run. Um, so it happens. And with Tom Brady, you never say never, obviously. Uh, you never know what's going on in Tom Brady's mind. And he can do whatever he pleases to do. Um, there's many football fans that don't believe Tom Brady is actually retiring. Um, he may have said this all you know, to, to try to get the Buccaneers to basically, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, a part of me thinks that he, he, he retired to basically let the Buccaneers know that, you know, hey, look, I'm done. I'm not going to play for you again. Um, but could he return for the 2022 season and go to the 49ers? Who knows? Do I want that to happen? I don't say I would want it to happen, to be completely honest. He's 44 years old. 49ers trade two first round picks, basically three, um, you know, to move up in the draft to take Trey Lance. There's a reason they did that. They've already committed to Trey Lance when they moved up and took him. Um, so for me, I'm not necessarily saying I want it. I would rather have Trey Lance start in San Francisco next season. I would want that more than Tom Brady coming here. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to win a Super Bowl or we're going to get, you know, into the playoffs and go on a Super Bowl run, potentially winning a Super Bowl with Tom Brady. But look, at the end of the day, play Trey Lance, give him the keys to the offense. There's no reason to to get Tom Brady. Um, it just, for me, does it make sense? For Is it a good fit? Absolutely. We get Tom Brady and the 49ers are in the Super Bowl. But at the end of the day, I would rather play Trey Lance. He's 21 years old. Um, play Trey Lance, give him the keys to the offense, and, and let him develop in-game, in you know, um, 
get play, get him playing time. He only needs game experience. He he knows the playbook. He knows the offense. The only thing where he's missing out on is game experience. Yes, he's 21 years old, and yes, he could sit behind you know Tom Brady for another season. But at the same token, why not get him started now, opposed to after when Tom Brady retires? Um, or after, you know, Tom Brady plays a full season with the 49ers. Like, for me, it just doesn't make sense. Give the keys to Trey Lance. Let him play. It's his team now. There's no reason to go out and get a 44-year-old quarterback. Is he the greatest of all time? Absolutely. But at the same time, for me, I would want Trey Lance starting more than I would want Tom Brady to start for the 49ers. Um, I don't know. I mean, you guys may think differently. I would be open, and I'm, I'm not saying I would be mad if we got Tom Brady. Definitely won't be mad, but at the same token, for me, I would just rather want the 49ers to give the keys to Trey Lance opposed to going out and getting a free agent quarterback when we could be going out and getting a cornerback uh, or, or, a, or a safety or something or interior offensive line. So for me, is it? do I think it's going to happen? Absolutely not. I don't think it should happen. Um if it does, am I going to hate the move? No. He's the greatest quarterback of all time. We'd probably win a Super Bowl if he came here, but I'm not rooting for it to happen. So Mike Florio thinks, though, that he will be the starting quarterback week one for the Niners. To me, it doesn't make sense. It's a good fit, but why would the 49ers go out of their way to try to get another quarterback when they just basically traded three first-round picks to get a guy in a draft? He sat behind Jimmy G., He's better than Jimmy G. He was better than Jimmy G when he sat behind him. But obviously, you know, they have to develop him. It's better for a guy to sit behind, you know, a quarterback and then play the season after. Um, we've seen it with Patrick Mahomes. Um, Justin Herbert sat behind Tyrod Taylor for the first three, four games. Um, but Justin Herbert's a different story. I mean, that guy came in and was lighting shit up. So... I don't know. Play Trey Lance. That's 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 what I say. Mike Florio thinks, though, it's unavoidable in that he truly thinks and truly believes that the Niners um, starting quarterback week one will be Tom Brady. So let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section down below. Um, and yeah, go Niners.